So it's December 8th and I'm noticing that you can tell I haven't shaved. My age is starting to show through my gray beard. Anyway, I didn't do any building yesterday because I took the day to upgrade my laser so that I could do longer pieces. And that's helpful with this build because now I'm able to do the templates for the neck and for the fretboard in one, in one piece. Prior to this, I had to do it in sections and then tape them together. So really quickly, I'll show you that I actually took some time to clean this side of my workshop up. Just makes it a little easier to work around in such a small space. And as I was talking about before, here's the neck um, shape. And this was all one piece on my laser with the new extension rails, which worked really well. I'm super excited about that. I'm going to skip the process of making this neck template outline because it's exactly the same as making the body templates. This is my angle for the headstock for the scarf joint. I could have figured it out with a ruler, but uh, I just cut a piece with the laser, the exact angle. Little less um, work for me to make sure it's perfect. Before I cut this scarf, I'm doing a quick calibration on my braid alarm saw here so that it's perfectly 90 degrees. So I'm getting ready to cut my scarf joint and I'm utilizing a tip from the electric luthier on YouTube. It basically, you create a 90 degree angle on your chopper radial arm saw, and then the angle is only the 12 degrees. Otherwise, the angle is too extreme without making a 90 degree first. I've already tested it, and it makes a nice 12 degree cut. The neck piece is too short to cut off and flip over to use for the scarf joint. So I'm using some cutoffs from the rocking chair to make up the headstock. This is a scarf angle sanding jig that I created on my last build. I uh, got this idea from Highline Guitars on YouTube. It sets the angle at 12. This had a little bit of variance in it, so I'm just trying to sand it to get it perfect. And it has this block right here. You put this on here and sand away. It's a lot of fun. Just drilled some alignment holes. I'll peg it so that when I glue the headstock here on, uh, it's not gonna slide around and this angle will be preserved. My neighbor's lawn guy's here, so that's where the extra noise is coming from. And, ha ha, uh, I'm used to doing it the other way. I just put the glue on the wrong side.
So I decided that the headstock can't be the only thing without some type of black stripe on it. So I did these one inch rich light veneers that'll be sandwiched between the outer veneer and the headstock. All right, there you have it, wings on. Truss rod in place. If you're wondering why I didn't do the truss rod first before I did the scarf joint, it's simply because I forgot to, haha. <laughs> Today's December 10th, 15 days to go, and it's going pretty good. It actually looks like a real guitar now. Let me show you. I'm actually really happy with this fit. It's just tight enough. So I need to make sure that I have a little 12 degree edge on this lip right here. So with that 12 degree angle on there, when I line this up, it matches up a lot better. Just has a little bit more to go. Okay, so that's the headstock veneer on. Dun, dun. 
I got Christmas music stuck in my head. And this is just to give it a nice flat platform with the safety plane. The headstock is now the thickness it needs to be because I still have these two pieces to put on, which will get me to about 14 and a half millimeters for thickness. I'm going to start a little bit of shape on the neck here. Normally I wouldn't do that at this stage, but I don't know what this volute's gonna look like yet. And I need to put this veneer on here. So I'm gonna try to figure that out so I can get the veneer put on correctly. It's December 11th. I only had a couple hours in the shop today, so I didn't get a ton of stuff done, but I got a couple of little odds and ends things finished up, as you can see. Screw holes are now in place, so I'll know where to countersink. I'm using furniture bolts, so those will look pretty good. This is the sandwich of, you can't see it, but that's the sandwich of the underneath for the headstock, which is here. This is all trimmed and ready to go. I think I'm just gonna lay it in here and match this V. I am kind of regretting starting the neck carve just a little bit because I thought I was gonna need to know the height here, but it doesn't really seem like I need to. It's probably gonna cause problems when I go to route the, the fretboard, but we'll see. Maybe it'll work out okay. So that's where I am for today, and hopefully tomorrow I'll get a lot more done. I just realized I hadn't done an alignment check with the neck pocket yet. So I just set up the laser. It's dead center on the body, and we get to the end here. And that looks pretty dead center on the uh, headstock, so nice to know that alignment's dead on.